when we started out on the Rose and Mackenzie River. And you can see two teams of six dogs, so one person would be on each sled, and then two people would ski every day. And we would rotate between um, traveling that way. And I must say, sometimes it was harder to ski because we were slogging along, breaking trail. And then sometimes it was harder to, to man the dog sled because we were having to push it over obstacles and stuff. And this is what our camp looked like. So we did switch tents for this. We had a big canvas tent that all four of us slept in. And you can see the stovepipe coming out here with the smoke. So we would gather wood um, at our campsites and then we would um, you know, burn the wood and keep the space. So we could cook on the stove and it was really nice to, to have a little warm space to dry out our clothes <laughs> at the end of the day. How long would you stay at one campsite on average? Um, well, it was usually just for one night. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. What month was that? Um, we started, it was right at the end of January. Uh, well, so like this picture was taken early February. So the days were very short and we had some pretty cold temperatures. So I remember, you know, several times seeing like 50 some below zero. <laughs> And the, the funny thing is with the short days, it's not like it, it warms up very much. So, you know, well, I'm not totally sure how it is for you guys here, but in, in Minnesota, you know, we might get a 30 below day, but then during the course of the day, it maybe warms up to 10 below, and it's not too bad. But, <laughs> but there, it, it might start out at 45 below and warm up to 40 below. It doesn't feel all that different. <laughs> But the good news was the days were getting longer as we went, so travel got got significantly easier throughout the, the time dog sledding. Mm -hmm. So we did encounter some challenges though. On Great Bear Lake, we traveled across a large bay and had a, a blizzard. So I have a little video clip so you can see just what that was like with the blowing snow. I was on skis that day and I just remember that I could stand with my arms out, and the wind would push me along. The wind was thankfully at our backs. It was a little harder work for the dogs. The guys on the dog said. So we, <laughs> with that slow going, we, we were out until sunset, but we did make it across the bay and we hunkered down. And it was pretty neat how um, after that big storm, Travel was much easier because it, all that wind just packed the snow. So it was like walking on a sidewalk or something. <laughs> Even though we had kind of the hard times throughout the storm, it was really nice to have had it. <laughs> so we made our way all the way down to the south shore of Great Bay Lake and switched again to canoe. Um, so it was early May when we started canoeing again. Or no, not really, like mid May. And um, I have one example for you of how students make decisions for us. Students decided that since Fennel was 12 years old at this point, that you know, it was, we knew it was time for him to retire. Like that was his last lawn trip. And um, so students decided that as a retirement present to Fennel, he should go with us as we knew. So he got to ride as we paddled the canoe. 